Hey guys, Master 50 here, coming in a quick review for Western Evil. Fuck. Alright, one second. I just need to tell me shit. Alright, um, I think it's called Retribution. Fuck, I've got. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, I think it's called Retribution. I fuck, I've forgotten already, I just saw it. It's weird. Anyways, yeah, so um, I just got back from seeing it, uh, literally just now, and I've forgotten the name already, which is kind of bad. I thought was doing your five, yeah, was doing your five. So, just a bit of backstory before I start the review. Uh, I know a lot of people that play the games hate these films, just hate them with a passion. I've never played any of the games, so, uh, yeah, I don't really know how to compare them, but I have seen all the films. So, yeah, the second one of which is my favourite still. Um, but, yeah, the storyline for this one, I found it really confusing. I mean, I found most of, them, most of the storylines for all of them confusing because they don't seem to be trying to do anything in particular. It's just a load of action, but that's it. It's just like a load of action throughout the film without them trying to achieve a specific target. So, yeah, uh... Story-wise, I can't really rate it. <laughs> NA. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Character-wise... Well, obviously, Alice is pretty damn fresh out, and she is a pretty decent character, actually, considering it's a video game franchise. But all the others... Uh, I couldn't go two fucks about them, to be honest. Um, Especially the guy that was blonde, what was it, the blonde guy, uh, he was a really bad actor in this film, I don't know who he was, but, I think he played some guy called Leon, but, uh, yeah, he's a really bad actor. So, acting wise, I don't know, I'll probably give it a four, because, like, Alice was the only one that, who, well, she called Mila Jovic, but, um, uh, yeah, she's the only one that was actually decent in the acting, and the character wise, um, because the acting was so bad, it reflected on the characters, and um, so therefore the characters weren't so good, so there'd probably be a 4 too. Not 42, a 4 as well. Okay. Um, what else is there? The action, which is the main part, it's a hell of a lot like a video game actually. Um, it reminded me a lot of Devil May Cry, to be honest. Uh, most of the action um, up to the end reminded me of. Devil May Cry 1 or 3, to be honest, but Devil May Cry is a, game, a good game to play, not watch, to be honest. Um, and the final fight, which is actually on YouTube, so it's not really much of a spoiler, um, but the final fight between uh, Alice and uh, Girl in Blue, um, that was a lot like Mortal Kombat, to be honest. The fighting, it just reeked to Mortal Kombat, but was a, had a hell of a lot more slow-mo, which is what I hated about the last Resident Evil, but, yeah. Um, so, action-wise, I'll probably give it a 7, yeah, 7, I think. And overall, well, you can't really, let me say, let me just put it this way, if you're going for a story, overall, there's not really a story, so you'll be disappointed. If you're going for the characters, they're pretty damn, um below average, so uh, you're going to be disappointed with that too. Um, going for acting, disappointed, although I don't know who goes for acting. Um, it, in my opinion, that just adds to the whole experience, but whatever. If you go for action, which is what this film is mainly about, you might be a bit disappointed, actually. Um, I don't know. It, the action the is definitely good, but it could have been a hell of a lot better. So, I don't know. I guess I've got to rate this film based on action because that's the whole reason to see it. So I'd say the action is probably about. Well, I mean, the whole film is probably about. Uh, I'll, call it, I'll give it a 6.5 because you've got to take into account the other. No, actually, no, that's just taking a 0.5. I'll give it a 6 because you've got to take into account the shit or, uh, the shitness of the other stuff on top of the action. So, yeah, overall 6. And. Uh, I mean, 6. I don't know why I fucked that up, but, um, yeah, it could have been a lot better, but, oh well. Um, tomorrow I should have a review of Sinister coming, which looks a hell of a lot better than this, to be honest. I'm curious as to see if it will be as good as, um, Panel Activity 4, or better than Panel Activity 4, or worse, or, I don't know, I'm curious to see which film is better. Um, should have that coming, 
then a little while later I should have a loop. I'm sorry that that's late because a, a lot of shit happened and I just couldn't see it in the end. Um, but I should get, um, should see it and get a view done of it next week, Wednesday I'd say, probably Wednesday. Then the following week I will probably get a view of Taken Up. Um, no, actually after Looper will probably be a view of Panel Activity 4, then I'll have a view of, probably have a view of Taken 2, so look out for those if you're interested in any of them. So uh, that's pretty much it, it's Master 50 signing out.